welcome to the eco academy channel so the last lecture of the series was about the syllabus of the subject and cut off during the recent times also at the end of the lecture i shared some of the tricks and strategy to handle pressure in the examination now we are moving to another lecture and from today onwards the regular course has been started we are starting from the unit 1 of the subject and the topic of today's lecture is the definition and scope of environmental science so students if we talk about the environmental science subject it is an old discipline even traced back to prehistoric man or even older than that since the origin of life on earth during the older times the prehistoric man utilized environmental information for food shelter and his survival against the nature and broadly speaking the environmental science is totally related to the nature some of the environmental elements also find their references in indian mythology if we refer indian mythology texts there are references of environmental elements in the indian mythology also in ayurveda and indian philosophy the human body is considered to be made up of five elements which are known as panchbhut or panchmahabhut vayu jal and prithvi are the part of panchmahabhut which according to hinduism is the basis of all cosmic creation these elements have different characteristics and these also account for different human experiences well the chronology of the ecological development shows that uh, there is a complexion of the involvement of the environmental factors during the course of time during the 20th century more emphasis was given to productivity energy flow and cycles of materials between its living and non living components during the 60s or even before that the term environment was only used for the surroundings of an organism but now during recent times due to rapid industrialization and agricultural development the environmental problems like uh, environmental degradation such as toxification acidification desertification deforestation loss of biodiversity global warming depletion of atmospheric ozone layer and many others have arisen these problems have given a new approach to the environment now in context of the present scenario the dimension of the current environment has enlarged and include both physical and living factors as component of the environment the environment now includes atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and biosphere on the earth these all together make a system and all such systems surrounding an organism constitutes the environment of that organism now during the recent times uh, due to rapid industrialization and agricultural development the interest of the whole world has been shifted towards the development and now due to the development activities being taking place in the world the quality of the environment is deteriorating and it is resulting into deterioration of the quality of life there is one more interesting thing the environmental problems are not local now these problems are not restricted to a region country or any continent only the environmental problems have become global concern now due to various global environmental hazards in recent times the establishment of various international organizations have taken place the some of the important organizations are united nations environment program global environmental monitoring system world commission on environment and development world conservation strategy world wide fund for nature scientific committee on problems of the environment united nations conference on environment and development and there are many more now due to all such complex problems in the modern world the concept of the environment has been changed and uh, this has resulted into an integrated multidisciplinary science known as environmental science if we talk about the chronology of the development of environmental science so during the 4th century some of the greek philosophers like hippocrates aristotle theophrastus uh, they attempted to describe the relationship between living and the environment aristotle has also described the relationship between the living and the environment in his book uh, with the name historia animalium grant in 1662 described human population in quantitative terms he established the importance of measuring in a quantitative way the birth birth rate death rate sex ratio and age structure of human populations buffon in 1756 described in his book uh, natural history that the population of man and other animals and plants are subjected to the same process malthus also in 1798 mentioned that the number of organisms increased geometrically uh, and food supply increased arithmetically then comes quetelet in 1835 who suggested that the potential ability of a population 
to grow geometrically was balanced by a resistance to population growth then comes far in 1843 who discovered that there was a relation between the density of population and the death rate then the Geoffrey Saint Hilaire in 1859 gave the term ethology to refer his study of relationship between organisms and environment then comes Rater in 1868 who introduced the term ecology to define the relationship between living and the environment then comes Ernest Haeckel in the 1869 who first gave the term ecology and, and defined it as the total relation of the animal to both its organic and inorganic environments. Then after him A.G. Tensley in 1935 introduced the term ecosystem. So students this is the important question mark it here. Sometimes in the net examination it has been asked that uh, who, who introduced the term ecosystem or who gave the term ecosystem. So the right answer is A.G. Tensley. After him Odom in 1969 defined the ecology as the study of the structure and function of nature. Now I think you understand that what is the basic definition of environment. So in this topic we will try to define the environmental science. So now we understand that uh, environment includes various organisms and their physical surroundings. Ecology which is also called environmental biology is the study of relationships between organisms and their environment. So uh, we can define the environmental science as, uh, as it is written in front of the screen. Environmental science is a multidisciplinary subject that encompasses physics, chemistry, biology, geology, meteorology, hydrology and many other branches of physical and natural sciences. The socio-economic development of any region, country or nation is closely linked to its industrial progress with the energy sector being the major driving force. Achieving a sustainable development without disturbing the equilibrium or the environmental balance of the nature is the challenging problem being faced by the world today. As we all know that any industrial activity or the development activity will pose some degree of environmental impact that could lead to environmental degradation and also hazards to well-being and health of living organisms. Keeping in mind this point of view, all environmental studies incorporate physical, chemical, biological and mathematical techniques to analyze reactions in the atmosphere, determine specific pollutants, their effects on the environment and their transport. Now I have given some more definitions of the environmental science. You can look at it on your screen. Also we can define it like the branch of biology concerned with the relations between organisms and their environment. The environmental science is the study of systems of air, land, water, energy and life surrounding the man. And uh, one more definition is there, which is, uh, it is the study of air, land, water and energy systems in relation to life systems. Study of atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere in relation to biosphere. Now we are moving to the scope of the environmental science subject. Well, we all know that uh, during the recent time due to rapid industrialization and agricultural development, the scope of environmental science has enlarged to encompass several disciplines such as ecology, environmental biology, biogeochemistry, toxicology, environmental chemistry and environmental toxicology. Well, the ecological principles are applied to understand how organisms manage to survive uh, under different combinations of ecological factors of the environment and under natural conditions. Also, the biogeochemistry deals with the study of physical, chemical and biological features of land in relation with biosphere. Toxicology helps us understand the source, fate and adverse effects of potentially toxic chemicals on biosphere. Environmental chemistry provides us the information on nature of chemicals regarding classification, mechanism of action and the release in the environment. Environmental toxicology deals with the study of the toxic physical, chemical and biological factors that make up our environment. And besides all these, uh, there are many other areas of study in environmental science which are mentioned on the screen. Uh, so the environmental degradation includes the study of pollution, toxic agents, desertification, deforestation and many other factors that are responsible for environmental degradation. If we talk about environmental analysis, it is the study of the analysis of the environment into its basic components like atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. All these components of environment are dynamic and uh, and changes with time and space. Now if we talk about the environmental monitoring, it focuses on the regular and repeated observations of status of chemical, physical and biological factors of environment. There is chemical monitoring for various chemicals in the environment 
as well as uh, bio monitoring for changes in the life forms in different ecosystems with a view to assess risk due to pollution if we talk about ecosystem analysis the ecosystem analysis deals with the structure and function of ecosystems if we talk about biodiversity conservation then it focuses on the scientific methods of conservation and management of natural resources and wildlife if we talk about population biology it is the study of intra as well as inter specific interactions of populations and uh, at the last uh, if we talk about environmental awareness and legislation it is concerned with creating an awareness in general public for environmental problems around them through formal and informal education there is also need for the state to enact laws and legislation in order to protect the environment and quality of life of the organisms so students this was the first lecture of the unit 1 which was about definition and scope of environmental sciences those students who are preparing for the ugc net from the subject environmental sciences may subscribe to this channel so like comment share with your friends and subscribe the channel eco academy